My name is Teresa Lockwood. I reside in Bowen, New Jersey. And, um, yes, I'm still up. I don't know what time it is. It's like 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> so, um, the thing is, is that, um, I'm going to record this dumbass, uh, William Clay. And they're, they, they keep, um, putting, like, anxiety and, like, false things and making false claims about anxiety. Um, so, the thing is, is, um, anxiety is a natural reaction to perceived threat or harm to the body, okay? So, it's strange, actually, I was actually, I actually went off of a, um, beginning of this before I finished watching it, and I did a meme, so I, but the thing is, they keep talking about it, and I keep being attacked, um, for my anxiety reactions, um, a lot of my anxiety, by the way, um, is neurological damage, um, um, due to torturous abuse, um, so, the thing is, is that, um, I'm very sensitive to sound, um, vibrations and things like that or whatever. The thing is, is that, um, I'm being persecuted and abused continuously. And my life threatened by the, um, violent New Jersey Police Department and, uh, the satanic Ramoth Church or whatever. The thing is, he's trying to tie anxiety to, like, manipulation. I don't manipulate or whatever. Now, okay, play on words in regards to manipulate, because I've actually encountered this, like, a number of years ago. I'm, I'm roughly probably going to estimate that around, like, maybe six, five, six, seven years ago. I'm not sure. Um, and I forgot what it was. Somebody was trying to justify their manipulation or something. And I looked up the word. And... I actually ran into, like, other things, like, related, uh, in connection to, it wasn't that in the definition, but connection to, like, the word or whatever, and, um, it wasn't, um, exactly how I use it, but it was just, like, manipulate was basically to, um, um, re- Oh, I forget what it was. Okay, so, but, it, like, look, if you have, like, a clay and you make pottery, and you're basically, um, molding that, that, that clay into, like, you know, um, a vase or something like that, that's actually considered manipulation. So, I just wanted to clarify. It's really sad that I have to actually do this on words, because they deceptively manipulate, and they constantly do this, and this is what he's doing now. So... I get this, like, all the time, um, on play on words where they're trying to accuse, I'm not saying they're basically accusing me or anything, I'm just saying they're, they're trying, they are trying, they are deceptively manipulating, though, um, to put all these false things on what anxiety is, okay? So they are, he's deceptively manipulating, um, um, in his, um, um, thing that I'm about to record, okay? So, um, he's constantly manipulatively deceiving or echoing somebody else's deception, um, in his false sermons or he's, He's manipulatively deceiving. So, the thing is, he is constantly on this high, on this hyper intensity where you can tell in his voice there is anxiety. Now, I just, I just recorded something um, in regards to anxiety because there's a lot of abuse by abuse. Now, he's my abuser, by the way. He's my persecutor. Okay, I have a lot of trauma uh, caused by him, by him destroying my family, my children, um, and the heinous things that he did uh, throughout the years and still continues to do. Um, but the thing I is, think in oh, the world that, hey, listen, when, when your behavior isn't what I want. There you go. So they they're playing on this thing though that's kind of related to the same principle here. In regards to the Vine, New Jersey Police Department, where they were trying to 
it's kind of, it's, okay, I'm going to give you the principles that I've been encountering with the violent police department. They're scapegoaters, and they've been scapegoating like that. It's kind of like I've been harassing the violent police department. They're hanging up on me. And then when I'm sitting there asking to speak to somebody else because I can't get through, right, and I'm sp asking to speak to a person and saying, stop transfer, and I told them, stop transferring me to the same person, Right? They sit there and lie because they're hanging up on me. They sit there and lie like, oh, well, you know, just because you don't like him. And it's just like, excuse me? No, they're hanging up on me because they prejudicially do not like me. They actually attacked me specifically to a certain person about 10 years ago um, telling me that God never did anything for me because I was doing street ministry and they started harassing me. And I, there was nothing that happened before that. I was very kind to them or whatever. And um, I was actually sharing spiritual poetry with another cop or whatever. It was brought up. Um, you know, I mean, I questioned how and why that was brought up but or whatever. But, you know... Um, uh, so the thing is, is, um, yeah, I write, um, yes, religious, spiritual poetry, mystical. Um, yeah, they mocked some of it, by the way. Um, it's really terrible. Um, putting their own false meaning on it. Um, so, um, and it was bas basically about my, um, oppression, by the way, uh, be me being a victim of domestic violence and abuse and, uh, uh, the abuse and oppression in this cult and basically as a woman being refused my rights and, um, well, to do anything. So he actually, he's going to talk about control, but in the police department, they were sitting there and, and, and making these things. And they actually made that statement. Actually, when I was in this church, when they were abusing me and like trying to control me for anything, there was something to control. They just wanted to silence me because I simply shared knowledge with them. And kindly just trying to, like, you know, enlighten them. And I thought, you know, they would be glad to, you know, receive this, you know, knowledge that I shared with them. And I gave it to them like a gift. That's what I used to do. Um, and this thing I had with my children or whatever. And giving them something, you know, it's like a present for you or a gift. Actually, mostly a gift or whatever. And, uh, okay. Hmm. <sighs> All right, so um, the thing is, is that <sighs> I didn't want to do this because I'm really upset that this is being mimicked because I just, yeah, I'm trying to get, like control from getting upset. All right, and they actually had somebody who was mocking my emotions mimic this and pretend that they were trying to control getting upset um, over like, oh, um the sacrifice of Jesus or whatever while they were they mock a um, meeting persecuted and tortured by the way that was Calvary Chapel Frank Apollo I want to record that so um okay so the thing is is that yeah they were playing these games and claiming because they slandered me committed perjury in court or whatever to sit there and control and destroy my family and children and Claim, oh, you're just mad because you don't get everything you want. So the violent police are actually echoing that abuse because I've actually spoke against them doing that and they're echoing it and then they're trying to quote it from basically the book of James or whatever. And it's just like, are you serious? They destroyed and basically robbed me and my family. Um, and basically, um, <clears throat> Okay, I'm not, I don't want to go, I just gotta, I can't go there, so, um, so the thing is, they, um, so I don't know what this is, it says, it has, I want to record it, okay, it's really strange, it says, Anxiety, uh, apprehensive uneasiness over an impending or an anticipated, I don't know why it has like, oh, anticipated ill, oh, my screen went out, um, state of being anxious, self-consuming, counterproductive worry over life, 
uh, not legitimate concerns for life and loved ones. So, um, yeah, I grieve over my children, by the way, because of this monster. So this, this is a thing. <clears throat> this is, this is actually him, um, who basically, like, at, um, like, attacked my children, um, and this doesn't make any sense, because it says, worry over life, not legitimate concerns for life, I, I'm not, I'm kind of lost here, and he doesn't really mention much on this, unless I, like, skipped it, like, I mean, sometimes I jumped forward and went back or whatever and tried to go through it, I'm not really sure, um, yeah, I grieve, um, all the time over my children because they drew, they destroyed my children. He actually has no concern for life. Now, he makes a, um, <clears throat> a, a claim that there's, um, a difference between, like, concern, um, and anxiety. Um, the thing is, is anxiety is anything, like, for example... Um, uh, a, th a perceived threat to life is what I basically came up with a term or a harm done. And that was basically that of like, if I get, if people get injured or something like that, like I've had experience like in like the hospital, um, where I fractured my foot and it was questioned. My anxiety was up and then the doctor responded and basically said, um, yes, yeah, normal when people have injuries or whatever. Um, so, um, I think it went up a little bit when I, there was like just a number of people that came around me. I don't know. Um, so I had, I did have somebody who was next to me that was very, um, intimidating in her, uh, tone of voice in her counter with me. So, um, and then doctor looked up or whatever and things like that. So, like, I guess there was like a notice. I couldn't see it because the monitor was behind me. Um, but that's how he responded. But the thing is, um, I think it went up a little bit more because I would, this woman, was very, like, harsh, and her encounter with me was very, um, like, controlling. So, um, the, <laughs> the monitor went up a little bit. Um, <laughs> so she was nicer when the doctor was there in the room, um, intimidating and bullying me before that or whatever. Um, so apparently when they left and they came back, there was, like, a couple other people, and it was just, like, she was, her energy was, like, very, very, um, um, intimidating or whatever. So there was like, everybody just looked at this monitor or whatever. So, um, yeah. Um, oh, apparently the police, um, called the, um, hospital trying to get me not treated, which actually happened. So I walk around with a limp and been pain for a number of years. Um, and I know I did not get any treatment for my foot that was fractured. Yes. And, um, yep. And, um, so the thing is, is, yeah, violent police do that. They stalk me. They do all these things and, um, try to make sure I do not get medical treatment, um, to harass and abuse me. They've been doing this for uh, about 20 years. So, um, <clears throat> So, the thing is, is they are mocking me also because I basically concern myself with a lot of things. They mocked me, Calvary Chapel mocked me for, um, because I, yeah, worry about, like, things, like, nationally, all over the world, and things like that. Um, and the thing is, since I basically went on the internet, it actually intensified, you know, and I basically, yes, to consume myself with reading it. Like, I think like 20 news articles a day, um, in news all around the world and events or whatever. And, um, yeah, it was distracting from my own pain. It was, um, and, uh, I got into all these things or whatever. It was like all the time. I ha I did have, in the last year, I kind of cut myself, uh, limited myself 
from doing that because it was like overwhelming me. It is I don't I don't think it's natural for us to um obtain um information like that. Um because I have so much like compassion and concern for like suffering of people or injustices and things like that. Um, I mean, it really made me um, physically ill. And I just want to let you know, anxiety is a reaction, okay? But it is a reaction um, <clears throat> to what is known, okay? They actually have all these false ideologies. Now, it is true. There could be people who have react in anxiety for what is not known, um, that can get complex, so I'm actually going to do another video about that, because I just want to record him. Um, he's going to make up all these things that is not based on any, like, factual statements or whatever. Um, he's very, very self-centered. He's actually even taught that, and then he pretended to sit there and speak against being self-centered. Right? So, um, I don't know what that's about. Um... And it, it, he's just very confusing. Um, so, uh, yeah, I get mocked or whatever being up like 3 o'clock in the morning, things like that. So they have this in here. I'm not particularly saying he's attacking personally me for that. But there is words that he's putting in here. Um, I am being harassed and bullied for my suffering. Um, so it is a selfless uh, suffering. Um, you know, people do, uh, suffer for selfish reasons. Um, there is, like, some truth to, um, a few, t it's like a couple of little words in there that, like, I'm just getting a, uh, a glimpse of from, um, like, I mean, he gets so intense in things that he even expresses this anger, and it's very self-centered. Um, so, um... Uh, he lies a lot. Um, you know, I mean, I just wrote this thing about the abuser, the anxiety of the abused victim. And then, because he expresses his contentment, falsely, false contentment from, um, uh, Philippians, um, 411, which I've heard taken out of context before. And, um... You know, they're they're claiming that I'm not Christian because I'm not content. Basically being in distress for being abused and being upset and crying. They sit there and quoted this verse and claim that um, I'm not a faith or I'm not Christian because, oh, and then compares and sits there and says, well, uh, Paul is content and all the things that, you know, you know he, he's going through or whatever. So he's kind of making, teaching on that false teaching. Um, that's actually not what it said. It basically... Um, also reflects of Paul being in distress, okay? So they just want to focus on claim, oh, well, Paul was experiencing joy, you know, um, and all the, like, this oppression around him and distressful things or whatever. So they, they give this, this false implication and, and they're just lying. So he's echoing, though, Pentecostal and Calvary Chapel and other people, um, and, them, these psychopaths, basically attacking, um, um, victims of abuse, because this is the, the abuser, like, I've encountered, like, cops, like, the abusive person will attack the victim who is expressing a distress, anxiety, and all this other stuff. This is an attack. This is actually how I encountered being a victim of domestic violence, like, um, if there, I was like, even a little bit upset about something, I was actually attacked and abused and assaulted. It was just like a reaction. Like it's, 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 it's a, it's a, it's a sin abomination that's in the mind that is brainwashing. I believe it comes from the infection of, I mean, it's just spewing out of these evil churches all the time. Like they're evil, abusive psychopaths. So, but the thing is, it's just like, there's sometime this, Sometimes this, um, like they're, they seem very satisfied, like very calm. Even my abuser, like he, like was very calm and I even questioned him about that. And like, you know, they're very calm at being abusive where there is 
so some people rage and all this other stuff. I mean, I've expressed rage from basically being abused. Um, so I have witnesses of that, but they're my abusers. They're not going to sit there and give a, a rightful witness to that, a one-sided story. But they condemn me for being angry or being upset or whatever for them abusing me. So the thing is, is that there's, um, you know, just because there's this false illusion of contentment from a psychopath and actually a peaceful false illusion of contentment, a false peace from a psychopath being abusive, they can also express, uh, have that anxiety. Okay, so I've actually expressed that. Now, he is continuously expressing this. He gets hyped up. And, of course, there's a reaction of anxiety. I don't know if he actually identifies it or whatever. Sometimes he gets hyped up and does things, expresses things. It's a a, a play, uh, like an acting out of something. Uh, not acting out as in... Acting out, um, how it's like he's um performing. He actually uses that word performing, but um, he gets um his anxiety level goes up all the time. You can uh, see that in body language. So, but the thing is, when he's doing it, he is deceptively manipulating, um, and it's always basically to attack. He's making attacks towards me. But like I said, it's very confusing to read him because a lot of times he's mimicking other people's like slanderous um, claims um, of me, depicting what is from him or if he's just sharing in ag agreement with them or if he's just reflecting to express this. Like he's, he's expressed things he doesn't believe, you know. Uh, so it was really strange. It's like somebody asked me a number of years ago. I'm sitting there making a complaint about William Clay and his abuse and, and, and whatever. And I get very confused. And somebody sits there and says it in a strange way and says, who is he? Not asking, like, who who he is. Like, who's that? You know. But wanting me to think. And I think this... He has expressed that he wants people to see him. They get angry with that and see him. And like, I'm supposed to sit there and see the person beyond all their evils. And he has expressed this um, in his distress. And it's like, but he's deliberately just mimicking people or playing out this scene that he falsely interprets about people. Right, and it's just like it, in in a couple things, it's like he's. I mean, I'm not going to because he's my persecutor, and it's like he's almost crying out for mercy, like a plea for mercy or something. Why I continuously, sadistically, like is abusively, slanderously, torturous, um, not by God, and they and they all they claim usually that they're. Like, it's conviction. This is what they do. This is what the, the, um, the Vana Police cult actually practice and you get this, um, Calvary Chapel into. Like, they're abusing people and abusing people's trauma, not their sins. Not something they did wrong, but their most deepest pain and attacking that and claiming because they're causing them pain that they're convicting them. And this is what they're doing. It's really, really psychopathically disturbing. And so the thing is, this is a monster. I mean, should I? Should I sit there and describe? Like, who is William Clay beyond all of his evil and abominations? And the thing is, when he sits there and rants off about, like, potential, which is... Copying a word, I'm, I'm not saying other people didn't use it, I'm sure it's basically been out there, you know, seeking people's potential. Oh, I just got, saw this strange image on TV, it was like, disturbing. I don't know what it was. A uh, person, oh my gosh, that was terrible. Um, oh, that just freaked me out. Um, whew. 
I just saw, saw, I don't even know what it was. I just saw, like, a gl glimpse of it. Like, my phone's, like, you know, TV. In front of the TV, I always have TV, all, like, volume off, like, majority of the time. I, like, showed, like, an image of, like, a diagram inside of a hand or something. I just, like, caught it, and it was, like, some kind of, I don't know what it was. But it, like, just, it was, it's, it's in my, like, I feel like all, cre and my anxiety is going up. <laughs> I feel creeped out. Like, I feel creepy feeling. So, um, it's, anyway, um, it really seemed like he was trying to express a response, or pull a response of, about him, and, like, potential, or whatever, more than anything, or somebody to identify him. Can I identify my monster, like, traumatizer, um, beyond all his evil and the pain and agony and suffering that he has caused me and my family? Destroying my family? Yeah. I can. And I won't. So, um, I'm going to record him. I'm going to do something to manipulate you, to control you, so that you start doing what I want you to do, so then I have no more anxiety. That's what he does. Now, they are manipulating situations or whatever. Because, well, I haven't manipulated anybody, but I basically have, like, for example, call on police or whatever. I'm like, I, uh, excuse me. The thing I did is present the law to them and make my complaint and um, basically practice what is right. I do not deceive my enemies. I don't believe in it. <sighs> I have something in my eye. I don't know what's happening with that. So, um... And the thing is, is that I get gaslighted and abused, and they basically do all these things, play these games, try to, like, set me up and do all these things and refuse my rights or whatever. And, uh, like I said, like I explained before, they, they flip things backwards and scapegoat me for actually what they themselves doing. Strangely, um, that's what he, like, he's doing. Like, he's demonstrating this same thing, and he's often speaking against himself. I'm not saying, I'm not speaking against contradictions. There's contradictions in speech or whatever. But he's literally expressing what, like, he attacks and persecuted me because he could not control and, and you know, what he wanted me to do. Of course, he, a couple sermons back, he basically expressed that and made this manipulative, deceptive excuse for that. Okay? Um, the thing is, is, um... You know, they sit there, these people do all these things, and I just sat there and then... You know, they sit there and go on and on and, and teach about, like, loving your enemies. And they're speaking against themselves. And, like, everything they do, because I'm going off or whatever, I'm told I don't love my enemies. And these are my persecutors telling me this. My persecutors. It's like, you need to learn to love yourself and love your enemies. Because you people have never, ever showed me anything of the love of God or any righteousness. Only evil has come from you. And the only thing that I've spoken. Is against their evil. So I don't know if my eye is swelling up. I think it is. It's my allergies. That's probably what was bothering me. Um, I think my eye is swelling up. I have allergy problems. And sometimes my, my eyes will swell up. So um, that has happened. A couple times. But I'm seeing it right here. Um, don't know what's happening, so I'm going to have to end this. Um, I'm going to have to get some allergy medicine, so I'm going to end with that.